it's day 15! <laughs> nice, it's just so comfy. And then I woke up for this video. And my breakfast came, so I'm gonna show you my breakfast. Here it is. <laughs> I'm out watering. <laughs> so I have this. Read this week. How amazing is that? <laughs> Crazy nice, man. So good morning, guys. As the first thing, I'm gonna go to the Rambada Falls and then I'll be coming to get my luggage back from the room and I'll be heading to New Area. And the time now is 11.50. So let's go. This is like the third time I'm going in this tunnel <laughs> for the past few days. I can talk to these locals in the shop and then to go and come. So we are completing half of our solo Sri Lanka tour today and uh, I'm in Rambada Falls now so I'll be hiking to the main falls and the hike is of somewhere around 15 to 20 minutes so come let's go explore it together. So guys I fire up the bike right next to the shop over there and then I'm starting the hike so now the time is sharp 12. Let's see how long is it gonna take for me to reach the main Rambada Falls. Almost there. It says 50 kilo, I mean 50 meters for the waterfall. Not kilometers, obviously. Oh my god. And that's a lot of water. <laughs> Careful. Slowly, slowly. We go slowly, slowly. We slowly, slowly. La 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 la. Oh 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 Ah Here comes Mushko to the Rambo the Waterfalls <laughs> You can see the size of the waterfall when you compare it with the people who are walking now Look at this I want to tell you that this t-shirt Kara Kel was actually gifted me or like given to me for these tours that I go in by Kara Kel. So I'll drop you the Instagram name below. Go follow them and get your customized t-shirts right away. I mean it's so comfy man. Like it's so damn comfy. about to go and uh, get my bags from the hotel and then I'll be heading to Nuvarelia so I just came to the hotel I'm gonna go get my bags and then home hi
So guys, uh, okay, Namunam? Kavindu. Kavindu. So this is Kavindu. So he was the one who was there when I came and he only like, you know, gave me a really good service over here. So if you come here, if Kavindu is there, he's gonna help you out so much. And this place is uh, Tea Bush by Okre. So as I had shown you the place, it's a very nice place. And I'm gonna head to New Aurelia now. And then maybe if possible, I'm trying to uh, do the Ambevela farm. Like by, I'm gonna visit Ambevela farm if possible. So let's see how it goes. <laughs> So guys, I just stopped for a bit to show this. Look at the spot I am on today while on the way to the Norway. So, this is uh, called as Damro Labukele. So, this spot is like a little bit, uh, I mean, a few kilometers before the Norway town. And this is one of the nicest places that you get to see while you're on the way to Norway. If you wish you could have a tea over here, and this is apparently a tea factory. You get to get the history of like how uh, tea was produced in Sri Lanka. Okay, I'm done with having a time here, and then I'm gonna head forward. Welcome to the city of Nuralia and this is the Nuralia town. Oh, they've changed this. It was something else. They've changed this. Like the building I'm talking about. And the post office is so cute. Look at this. I'll have to come to the post office tomorrow to get a signature. I'm like that guy who's wearing a short in Nurelia. And my face is freezing! <laughs> it's cold! Club. Oh, there's a horse. No, it's a pony. I see it somewhere over here. I finally somehow managed to find the hotel and it's this I'll show you a little bit more of it once I get my bags unpacked let me take you in on a room tour 
So here is my bed. So this is called as Gregory Bungalow. And my room name is Tulip. <laughs> and you got some space to keep your bag. You got a key TV again, which I don't need. I know I repeat it, yeah. And then you got a small space to sit. And also here. And there's a small balcony. Look at the view you get of the great lake. It's amazing! Oh shoot! You know what? I should have at least worn the hand gloves. Like an idiot. I just came with a short. <laughs> just with a sweater. And still this sweater is not enough. I mean if I'm just walking that's fine. Dude, I'm, I'm driving at around like about 60... Roughly around 60 kilometers per hour. I mean, you cannot go faster than that as well because there are so much of curves. Anyhow, even in that speed, it's so cold, right? My hands are freezing, my legs, my toes <laughs> are freezing. And you know, pizza hot is <laughs> like my favorite. Oh, those guys are open. Guys, <laughs> to go out just with a sweater and a short with slippers and without having anything in your hand this is like the most idiotic thing that you could do if you come to Nova Relia. Don't be like me <laughs> when you come to Nova Relia. Make sure you wear like, you know, full clothes and stuff that would like make you keep, I mean, which will keep you warm. Guys, I burnt my hand with some hot water. Can you see it's red? Shoot, I just like open the shower and uh, not the shower like the tap and usually like there's a limit right like you just do but I did it like that and it was like freaking hot man I, I just screamed <laughs> guys so uh, world's end there's a boat to their left which is world's end and there is a sign called Ambevela farm 10 kilometers have a good look can you see just have a closer look those are the cows and that is the windmill can you see the windmill is covered it's all <laughs> when i'm showing that it's a fun freezing because <laughs> it's so cold like it's covered man it's like totally missed so guys i'm like placing my phone over here on my bag and then i'm gonna like go take a picture on my own so let's see 
How practical is it gonna be? just came to get something for dinner so guys this is the Norelia town and uh, in case if you want to get something the bus stand is here and next to the bus stand there are like few shops where you can get food mm -hmm. 